It's the April 22nd edition of Health in 2.0, and we're reminded why we can only stand Matthew Holt in two-minute increments. Jessica, did you, did you get enough relaxation in on 420? Because clearly the microdosing level is, is that you've been doing well things has not been enough. No. To come with me. What have I done? What have I done? No, you're like, let's go, let's go. I just said to you, the last thing we said before this camera rolled was I can't stand you right now. And you said, as opposed to any other time. And I said. All right, can I change the topic? We've had real numbers out about HCA. You're an expert in stuff. It went down, right? 30% uh, down in revenue or something? No, even like, okay, so yeah, their revenue went down 30% and it said their profit margin went down 25%, but they still made like $20 yeah, didn't, didn't million they get like, dollars in profit. Didn't they get like $700 million more from the government than they actually needed? They're like Shake Shack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. they're like Shake Shack. They should give the money back. <laughs> they, they, they should give the money back because oh, Medicare was paying them more money as well. It's our, like, are you, is it possible you have two small business owners on the line here who have yeah, got their PPP funding? Well, so waiting, holding out hope. Chris and HCA and everybody else. We're going to just put this PPP money into the same bucket as interoperability and all the other fantasy things that I'm just waiting to have happen over here. <laughs> all right, all right. My okay, mom, while we're talking about money, yeah, we, haven't got, we haven't got any. We've got HCA deal. has got a lot. Has anybody else got any? Should we start? Yes, start your time. Right. Here we go. Ready? Who has got money starting? Oh Everybody has the weirdest name, too, on this list. It's the weird name list. Go. Go. It's not. Yeah, here it goes. Aldade gets $64 million. What is this doing? Did I say all right? No. Aldade. 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 Okay. Whatever the hell it's called. This is like, you know, $200 million or so gone into this. This is Farzan Mostashari, the man with the bow tie. Used to be ONC director. Um, and it's a organization that sets up ACOs for independent physician practices and done pretty well. Although uh, Rashid Kamal Fan Lockley from, from uh, Iora had a big fight with them last year about whether or not they really did what they said they were going to do or not. But they've had a lot of publicity, done seems to have done well, got good numbers out of those, and been doing a lot of stuff around COVID 19, including helping convert all those practices to telemedicine very quickly. Whether it's worth that amount of money, I don't know, because that valuation must be several hundred million now, and it's going to be tough for them to keep going, but I like them all. All right. How about your favorite, Metopad, which is now rebranded into Huma. Oh, no, no, guess. Minipad? Metopad? Maxipad? No. What's it called? Terrible. Metopad. And they have acquired, no, now they're Huma, to avoid any confusion. And then they've acquired BioBeats and Terillion Laser Technologies, which I really want a sweatshirt from that company. So if you were out there, please send Terillion me. Terillion Laser Terillion. Technologies is the company that caused the Skynet to go pop, to go uh, self-aware and had Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, is that what? It? it does. It sounds like it could. Sounds like that. Um, okay, this company is doing sort of remote monitoring. It's been around for a while. I never really figured out why or how, what they're doing. Bayer put some money in. Didn't understand it either. The rebranding, don't understand that either, but good luck to them. It's a hot, hot area. Next. All right. Novartis acquires Embliotech, this uh, lazy eye digital therapeutic. Yeah, and they've got a big uh, ocular practice, and it's, you know, maybe to an add on. There are a few other these eye based things, you know, can be the things which will happen soon. Yes, ho. Oh, you just got it in. I can tell when you are dragging your feet over there. I think 420 was a little hard on you, my friend. <laughs> All right, so Yes Health gets six million. <laughs> Coastal Ventures is in this. Oh, I'm gonna have to say, everybody who's watching, settle in. All right, go. Guaranteed success. <laughs> <laughs> so it's another. I, 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 I it's yet another six million bucks. Yet another different. Yeah. We can put you on a diet and have coaches bully you program, which is basically who else has got one? Well, Amara and Lavonga have both got one. The then, then a whole been. bunch of other people got one. If you go to Wealth, they're big. Pimp is that Blue Shield and uh, Solera, which is it Solera that runs the Blue Shield? Should you say they're big pimp? The thing they're talking about, the thing they are pimping in their recipes is that Blue Shield has selected them for their World Evolution program. I've been through that program. You get to choose from about 500 different, you know, put you on a diet, shout at you, put you on a weight scale programs. 
There's a company called Weight Watchers and you know, a few other. There's, new, there's 8 million of these people. Why they're going to do well and not others, I don't know. But I'm sure they're a very good company and maybe they'll make it. And you know, every company Coast has ever invested in has been a massive success. We're I'm past our two think... minutes by a long way. I shouldn't accept it. I'm thing. sure it's a great... Come on. Go on what? If we're no, done. No, <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish. I think you've sufficiently... Can I, 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 I want to finish by... I know that you gave a couple of talks uh, today online, and one of them, or to, uh, giving a couple of talks, one of them was... Or, one of them, in some part, you've been defining digital health. No, you haven't been. You've been laughing at other people's definitions of digital health. I'm, I'm about not to write at them. I'm merely about bringing it. them to light and maybe perhaps commenting on how they're a little bit absurd because nobody seems to know how to define digital health. That's all. So we're at the point where we can't define digital therapeutics other than please pay us 10 times as much for the same thing. That's not, that, that's not how they're defining themselves. But so I, I think most people in this is, but hymns in its infinite wisdom has weighed in with the definition of digital health. And it basically, it's like any type of tool or technology or service that enables care delivery. Ah, we're all there. So, as we have I think I'm gonna, project. me and my Excel spreadsheet are gonna <laughs> wield the off power of something. No, you've got, you, come on, you've got, you can't tease. You've got to tell us about what, what, what does the WHO do other than let the talk The World out. Health Organization has also defined digital health and they have gone all the way back. In, in order to do this, they had to take like a running start all the way back in like 1994 with eHealth. I remember and that. They're like, and then this is what M Health is. And now no, here's what digital health is. And so, yeah, I couldn't, free, I don't think, yeah. Three separate definitions of things that don't exist. Oh, well. <laughs> I know how much you love terminology. So, uh, for you, it's uh, real. As Paul Sappho said in 1997, digital is dead. He was right then, he's right now. I um, like whatever tweet I saw that said today that data is the new oil. Yes, you can That's buy it for one. minus 30. They will pay you to take their data away in uh, Oklahoma City or uh, wherever. Depends on how you feel about COVID-19 uh, tracker technology, I guess. Actually, on the, on, anyway. the, on, the, on the oil front, I want to tell you one thing. So I put out a tweet last night. I found that when I became a futurist in like 1992, they sent you a futurist training school, but well, they don't really, but they talked to you about it. And one of the things they did was they gave me the chart of the oil price projection, which is every year, I think it was Total and uh, a bunch of people in the oil business projected the oil price. So they projected it in 80, 81, 82, 83. And every year they went, it's going to go up like a rocket because it had done between 73 and 79. It was going to go up. And every year, the more their projection came down every year, the lower the price. <laughs> but it's still went projecting it going up and up and up from a lower base. And it stayed in the doldrums way below it was to like 2005. And then this week it's even lower. Tune in to our next show, Commodities 2.0. I'd love to talk about commodities trading. <laughs> Pork bellies. Oh my Come God. On. Stop. Okay, done. Don't We're done. Concentrate your orange juice. Stop. Eddie Murphy. Oh my God. Things are out of control here. I am so sorry to everybody who's still watching this. If you can watch, the, if you're not watching the video version, you're on the podcast. Good God, you should see my face. Um, anyway, if you, why you would want to subscribe to our email newsletter, God knows. But if you do, go to thehealthcareblog.com. And if you want to check out those, those tweets on crude oil and pricing, you can follow Matthew Holt at Boldy Point. Sorry. I think you can follow Jessica the Matter at Jess the Matter. <laughs> you right. Should I do, I can do it for you? Yes, thank you, because I just can't believe that that really happened right now. <laughs> Commodities in 2.00. <laughs> Tune in next time. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> the next episode of Health in 2.00.